another big Emirati welcome for Israeli President Isaac Herzog, who continued his two-day trip to the UAE Monday with a swing through Dubai and an appearance under the Big Dome at Expo 2020. Israelis and Emiratis are studying together, learning each other's cultures and languages. 250,000 Israelis already visited the Emirates, and we await many Emiratis to visit Israel following COVID. This was Israel's National Day at the Expo, as part of the six-month World's Fair of Pavilions, in which 192 countries are taking part to showcase their innovation and achievements. I hope and I believe that more and more nations will soon follow the UAE lead and join the Abraham Accords. Today we are showcasing the boundless potential of imagination and recalling the great fruits to be reaped from collaboration and meaningful exchange. Herzog also met with Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, UAE Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, before touring the Expo grounds. Of course, hovering over the visit was the whiff of Sunday night's missile attack by Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi militia. Notably, Iran continued to ramp up its rhetoric on Israel Gulf normalization, with the hint of a threat. Some countries were walking down the normalization path and thus helping this Zionist regime create more crisis must be aware that they will be the first victims of the aggressive expansionist and crisis-making nature of this regime. Ending his visit with a tour with his wife of the giant Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi, Herzog had this to say. There are only two alternatives for this region. One is peace, prosperity, cooperation, joint investments, and a beautiful horizon for the people. Or alternatively, what Iran is doing, which is destabilizing the region and using its proxies to employ terror. These are the two alternatives. And this visit symbolizes hope, peace, and a great future for our nations, the region, and the world at large. Thank you. A visit that pointed the way to a future. If only the Middle East will let it happen.